Hello guys, welcome to a new video. My hair looks a bit crazy. I have really horrible roots, but that's because I actually want to commit now to growing back my natural hair color. Okay, so I think I want to plan outfits today because I'm going to New York and I actually want to have cute outfits. And I feel like if I was going on any other trip, I wouldn't really care about my outfits. Like I would probably just like throw whatever into my suitcase. But I feel like people actually try New York, so yeah. I just ate a bowl of rice with chicken, sweet potato, and pesto. Literally, best combo ever. You guys have to try it. The light is so bright that my eyes look crazy. I got this plumber sweater for New York. I think it's gonna look really cute with a pair of jeans and maybe a white top under. I feel like I obsess over my basics. I love repeating sweaters. I feel like repeating outfits makes you like more special, like a main character, and I want to be a main character. If I buy something, it's because I really like it. That happens to me every time I buy new pieces. My nose look really scary right now, so I'm gonna make a nail appointment because they don't look that great. I just like to get gel. Hello. Hello. Hi, this is Jimena. Do you have an appointment Monday at 12 for manicure and pedicure? Monday at 12? 12. Yeah, at 12. Okay. Yes. Yeah, Thank you, Jimena. Thank you. Have a great day. Oh, <laughs> oh that's funny. Okay. Uh -huh, yeah. Okay, so see you Monday at 12. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <laughs> my grandma was with my no lady. That's like the funniest thing because the entire family goes to my no lady. Okay, guys, sorry about the horrible lighting in my room. It's gonna be snowing in New York, so I need to find nice warm outfits. You guys already know I love my coat. This is literally my most favorite coat ever. My daughter or son, whatever they want to call themselves, are going to be wearing this in the future. Once I collect a lot of pieces that I want to give to my future children, I want to make a video about it. But I'm still collecting pieces and sometimes I'm like, no, that's not very timeless, so I sell them. And then I just keep everything that I think it's never going to go out of style. I feel like this is a good basic to have just in case I go to a fancy dinner or something like that, you know? So yeah, this is definitely coming to New York with me. I also have this Aritia jacket that I wanna take with me because it's gonna be freezing. I think that the hardest part about packing for the cold is that you don't really have a lot of space. I love this big day jacket. It really helps with the snow. So I definitely need to bring this to New York because it's gonna be snowing. This really protects you from the snow. I also wanna bring this blazer because I feel like this could look really cute for a dinner with my red scarf that I bought from Amazon haul. I don't even know how I'm gonna fit all of this into my suitcase. I don't know if a blazer is like enough to cover me from the cold. I have this idea in my head of wearing this. I wanna wear this. With this, my aunt bought me this in Mexico, so I kinda wanna wear it. Wait, why is the lighting just getting worse and worse? I feel like this could look really cute. And I have this vintage Gucci glasses that I feel like they would look really cute as well. See, I feel like this could be a vibe. I need to fix the light. And then like this black bag to keep it simple. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is how I'm going to be walking in New York. Yum, 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 yum. guys i just woke up had breakfast and now i'm gonna go get my nails done because they're very ugly my hands are probably like super dried so i'm gonna put a lot of lotion on them because that's embarrassing and then why is my eye crying i have to pack and i also want to wash my brushes because i'm gonna be using them all the time in new york and i don't want to break out because my brushes are gross right now so yeah also i love how cloudy it is today and i'm literally wearing this short sleeve top and literally Sandals. I love cloudy days. Hello, I got my nails done and now you guys are gonna help me pick a perfume for New York, okay? 
If you guys hear someone singing, that's my sister Paula. You guys have seen me open these a lot of times, but if you guys don't know what this here is, it's a perfume brand and they come in cute boxes like this. So here's the first box and then you open them. This is what they look like from the inside. They always say a cute phrase and then they have like this little paper right here. If you turn it around, you can see the name and the perfume that perfume was inspired by. This is one of my favorite ones. It smells amazing. It smells so amazing. Okay, so here's the second one. This one is Ambry Mint. The color is super cute. The packaging is super cute. I think this is a really great gift idea. And they just look so cute that I would even use them as decor. Okay, Umbria Mint is definitely a smell that I would give to my dad. Third box. Let's see what's inside. This one is Fruity Almond, which I think it's one of my favorite ones. Look how cute. Okay, so Fruity Almond is definitely a very girly and sweet smell if you like girly things. I think it's great for that. Love this one. It smells really nice and sweet and just girly. This is the fourth one. Woody Raspberry. It has a pretty honey color. This one smells very elegant. I feel like I would give this one to my mom. This is the fifth one. Powdery orange flower. Okay, let's see how it smells. It has a pretty green tint to it. Okay, this one smells very fresh. What I like about the Sierra perfumes is that a lot of the smells are literally for everyone. So it's really easy to give them out as gifts. And I just feel like that makes them more cool and unique to wear. This is the last perfume. Okay, floral marshmallow. This was one of my favorite ones when I opened this box last time. Look at that beautiful color. This literally smells like marshmallow. I like to remember a lot of people by their smell, so I feel like perfume is such an important part of a person's character or persona. I'm probably gonna be using these a lot in New York because I'm gonna be walking so much that I'm probably gonna stink by the end of the day. And maybe if I wanna go to dinner and smell good, I'm just gonna be like, Easy. I just know these are gonna be saving my life there. So I'm gonna go with this one for New York because I don't love when perfumes are very sweet and strong. So this one is perfect for that. So yeah, if you guys wanna go check out this year, I have a code for you, which is Kimena5. And I'm gonna leave the link down below so you guys can go check out this year. So yeah, thank you so much this year for these beautiful perfumes. This is what packing for New York looks like. Um, that's the clothes that I think I'm gonna take. I'm trying to like try on my outfits and see what I'm truly gonna wear because I don't wanna like pack too much. My problem is that I have a lot of jackets that I wanna take with me, but I just don't know which one to pick. So yeah, I'm trying to like make a good decision here because I also wanna go shopping, so. Filter. What this looks like is doing drugs. <laughs> 